And now, our feature presentation. Alrighty boysies, how you doing? How you doing this fine fine day? Actually it is not a fine day. Because we're getting back into the wand of Gamelon. How you doing today? Right, anyway, I forgot, we're coming from, from the dusty Man on Home video store and Wand of Gamelon part 2. Dear God, what am I doing in my life? Look at that lovely title screen. You think with uh, something like Legend of Zelda, you'd do like a big grand title screen, a big, you know. But this is Philips Interactive Media of America. Also, it was American made. Cool, that makes, I don't want to say that makes sense, but very un... Because now I imagine they, take, they have a tight leash on what they, they do with their, you know, franchise and shit like that. But then, like, uh, who told me I said last time, there was fucking Crypto Necro Dancer, which... That's cool as fuck, made that by me. I'm talking shit already. Last time we arrived in the beautiful, beautiful continent of Gamelon, which I realise now shape. How small is it if a castle is that big? Anyway. So yeah, we uh, travelled around, we met some of the lovely villagers, we rescued some of them, we ended up fighting a Gibdo, which ends up. What? Like. So. When we're in the Cicado, one of the characters like, take this shroud, it will beat Gibdo. And I went outside and there was another church. I went to the church and fought what were little like dogmen. And I assumed they were Gibdos. No, the mummy that we fought was a Gibdo. Which makes sense, because I think I've looked up and Lena Zelda does say that they're Gibdos or zombies or like mummies or whatever. But aye, so last thing I was going to my, my voice I've just started streaming my voice just fucking broke. But anyway, last time we were wandering about Wish We Swamp and we got the power glove. But I need to head actually back to Bushy Swamp because I forget how this game works. This game works in a way like, see because I see because I didn't leave using uh, this cer very certain uh, which got like fast travel thing doesn't count. So I'm just I just need to head back through the swamp to where we got the power glove so I can continue our adventure. So because that's how th you unlock new areas in this game. Which I hate. Also, I know that I'm beating a dead horse by saying this, but the proportions all was like I, I assumed this would be like further down the swamp, but no, it's like, it looks so. F it's like we're literally, which is probably what we're doing. It's probably a painting, and we're probably just jumping on the painting. That's way too low. How do I? Right, let's wait for it to come back up, and I'll jump over the other side. But dear lord, so wait. I'll be completely honest here. This game's bad. This game is really bad, but most of the badness comes from, like, you expect a certain amount of polish from a Zelda game. This feels like a game that someone's made in the Game Maker software. You know how it's, like, unpolished and shit like that. It just feels cheap, but I wouldn't go as far to say it's, like, the worst. I know it's considered one of the worst games. Maybe... Maybe just because it's part of a series that is so considered so high quality, you know, things like Ocarina of Time being like considered the best game ever made and shit like that. But yeah, it just I wouldn't say it's, I wouldn't say it's even the worst game I've played on. Oh Jesus! I know last time I was like, oh, it's yeah, it's yeah, piece of diarrhea, dog shit. No, but I wouldn't say this is like the worst game. This probably isn't even the worst game I played on stream. Also, how do I get over there? It's here we go, big jump. Oh, just, I feel like I just made that. But again, I am playing the remastered version, so I might be... I say remastered version, I've got the remastered stuff off. But also, not playing it on a CDI controller probably helps. What's this person saying? Hmm, aren't you a might puny to go up against Ganon? I'll do alright. Oh yeah, we've got a slight glitch here where the... So I read up, this is a slight glitch with the remastered versions, and I cannot find a way to fix it, that the it's, dialogue's a little bit out of sync. I say a little, a little bit, but I feel like it just adds to the jank, so... Aye, we're keeping it in there. Oh, 
okay, maybe I fucked up. Right, so I got it. Maybe it's the lake because the fast travel. Oh my god. There we go. So I'm just wondering about the areas that I've been in. Because I need to get, I need to open up the new area by using the, that certain fast travel thing. Which should have worked when I used the, that thing. But maybe I've got the wrong area. So maybe I'll head to wh wherever I picked up that item. Which would have been... Not here, would I, I would have went through here, yeah. Get one of those a feather for these things. For these things. Wait, these things need to get a feather for. That was the egg that I had to get last time. Yeah, that was where I used the bomb. To, oh, that thing's horrible. Oh god. Oh, that's where that one-shot kill thing is. So I don't think I need to go here. I think I need, because all the boss in this game work a certain way where there's no active way to beat them apart from you go find said item that beats them and then you use said item to beat them in one shot. Like, it, they're the most anticlimactic bosses I've ever seen. I imagine if I paid, actually no, I'll take it back, so I, I imagine if I paid, how much would the, of this retailed for? So, I'm trying to think, so I'll look up. How much would a Philips CDI game be? How much would a Philips CDI game go for? Oh my god, wait, CDI, the kits, uh, Philips CDI, I think I'm looking at the, oh no, here we go, CDI was initially priced around US one thousand a thousand dollars about two grand a hundred and forty nine quid in twenty twenty. Fucking hell, imagine paying two grand for it is capable of playing interactive CDI discs, audio CDs, C D G, which is C D and graphics, photo CDs and video CDs. Holy shit. I am on the eBay. And how much do you think? So a Philips CDI, two hundred fifty quid. Right here we go. Hotel Mario. So just for the game, this is just the game. There is no case with it. One hundred and eighty-three quid. Oh my God! There's a Thunder in Paradise game. For those who don't know, Thunder in Paradise was Hulk Hogan's failed TV show where it was Night Rider, but it was a boat. And before you ask, no, I'm not playing the Thunder in Paradise fucking CDI game. I can barely get a C I tried to get a CDI emulator working, that's why I'm on... Okay, I don't realize I could go in there. I tried to get a CDI emulator working, but... I could. That's why I'm on the VMA massive version, mainly. Right, so... I'm just having to scroll around, see if maybe I've unlocked there before. Maybe it's the forest that I need to... Yeah, that I think I was at this area just before we. Yeah, I think this is where I got the item for the power glove. Which fuck knows where I use the power glove? Things aren't even dropping rupees, right? Down here. So I'm looking for a fast travel thing. Oh, would you look at that? There it is. And there we go, that's what I was looking for. The fairy pool. We oh my god, what the fuck? What is going on? Right, uh, where's my lantern? Oh, that's weird. I got a disconnect from chat thing. Oh, I might, I might pause. 
but I realize this game doesn't have a pause button in the usual sense. I'll, I'll get because I'll get on my phone. Just give me two seconds. Making sure that we're still, you know, turn it down first. If you don't want, I don't hear my own voice. That'd be horrifying. Right, cool. Uh, wrong button. Nope. Well, it seems I seem to have died. Right, where's the lantern? I don't think I've come here yet. I don't have got an item to. Oh, got one shot killed there. Oh wait, no, I take it back. I killed the witches. I stabbed them and they died. Wait, did I just kill one? Shit. Wait, then you kill all three. Kill, then you kill all three of them. If I've got the mad pew pew, it should be no bother. They don't spawn in. But I can't like, just sit back here and snipe them. Wait, first of all, let me get the lantern back up. Wait, so that's an R2, that's an R1 down. There we go, taken care of. Okay. Oh, the fairies are back. Let's talk to the fairies, right? So they look kind of nice here. I bet they're going to look fucking horrific when I use this. We're free. Oh my god. You saved us. Here's a life heart. And some fairy dust. Have some water of life. Right, cool. So they gave me some water of life, a fairy, and some fairy dust. And an extra heart. Can't use the... Cool, so I think Water Life just heals us. But the fairy dust I can give to. Oh, I unlocked the Gobi and Ship. Cool. I can go to Skull and get the. Nope. Shit. I think it was a woman, I think she's at the end. Right. Where is she? Where is she? Oh god. Wait, right, she's in the last house here and give her the fairy dust. Oh good. There. Now you can sneak up and give a monster a good shot before he sees you. Right, cool, so that'll be for a monster that we can like, sneak up on. Cool. Let's try the Gobian ship. How are we doing? So we've got 38 bombs, 17 of them, and 80. Yeah, that's, that's plenty. Because we're going to burn through those, your most valuable assets is those things. Or your most valuable, you know. So I'm just going to head through here, and... Where was I going? Oh yeah, the Gobian ship. The thing is, these are like, like breaking onto like a pirate ship should be a really cool sort of segment in the game. Okay, there's an invisible wall just stopping me. Cool. Neighbor, pal. Neighbor. Like, I can see this being a not bad sort of... Because I know it's, it's definitely going after sort of Zelda 2. It's... Well, I died there. It's... It's just full of so many things. I'm like, right. See if you did that slightly differently. I'm not saying this game would be good. It might not be so awful if you did things slightly differently. But it's just a lot of very baffling decisions in this game. Right, where's the other one? There he is. There's a lot of things I'm very like very confused as to why they done certain things, you know? What? Oh, and I jump up there and I can walk. I think I can jump up. I think it's really weird to know where I can. Like, this is a basic platform segment you get in, like, any other game. 
But just because of the layout and the way things look, it's so fucking hard to guess what you can and can't walk on. Turn us into Ikaruga, let's go. Oh, shit. I got too excited and just jumped. Right, here we go. Here we go, king of platforming. I went too far. How did I get down there then? Oh. Hey, here we go. Right, we're just gonna keep our cool here. And you who always keeps us cool. Big daddy cool. Right. Right. Ah. Uh, don't jump, Mickey. Don't fuck. I killed that mad gob. On. Oh, we on it. Yeah. There we go. We broke on the ship. Oh, ship full of skeletons! Oh, there's skeletons and ghosts everywhere. Right, somebody's heading up. I could just use a rope to jump up. Let's just do that. Oh, it's locked, right? Can I climb through the mad slime hole, I guess? What's up here? Oh. This is kind of cool. It's like a sort of... Sort of gimmicky kind of bit. I can't believe I'm saying this, boys, but there might be a segment in this game that I like. Is that a feather? There we go. Someone wanted a feather. Who was wanting the feather? Someone was wanting the feather. I can't remember. Small damage exists in this game. But boys, a segment in this game I actually enjoyed. Like, for it was a tiny segment. Who'd have thunk it? Zelda CDI actually came up with a good... C uh, well, I think, again, a lot of the things, problems in this game, they aren't like... Right, there's no one on the ship. It's this reflecting shield. And then we've unlocked the Shrine of Gamelon. So I've got a theory that what does hit this? Who wanted a feather? I'm gonna head to just shoot these things, I forgot I've got the mad QP beam. Does, uh, I'm trying to think who wanted a feather. Who wanted a feather? What a feather? Your friend Link could eat ten of these. No, nope, not you. You def never you. And of course, once she's finished, you once she's you know gave that me the item she wants, she just leaves. And that's the one. That's the witch. Not the witch. The woman with a. So I looked up that thing she's holding right there. Who would have believed that? That's a Triforce. Yes. Oh my! Your father has been captured. That's a fucking Triforce. What Link? He's what? been in a terrible fight. I can't tell what happened. These people made this. I've definitely seen maybe one episode of the Zelda show, which was not the best. The most. I think I'm. I'm not a Zelda like aficionado. I don't know much about Zelda. I played like quite a few of the games. Or I played a few of the games. Not never finished any of them. Even I'm like, hmm, something's not quite right here. And I think Zelda's different each time. Just the sort of nature of the games, it's, you know. Right, did you want a feather? Look, I got a new job. Hey, bring a heat crystal. I'll fix up your sword. Right, okay, you wanted a heat crystal, cool. Who wanted a feather? Why is this chair so big? Ah! Wait, there's no one here? What character wanted a feather? My brain's just broke trying to remember, like... What, where characters are, like... So, it's no one in this place. 
I think the first place we were at, Ari, Ari, I forget what it's called. I think that's completely, like, not got any use now. Right, get stabbing. Cool. I just need to try and think where this fucking thing goes. Right, Cicado. Fairy pool? No, it's not a fairy pool. We've done that. It's not to Kogi Tower. Is it Kobe Tin? No, because that character wanted a egg. And they gave us. I can't remember what they gave us. Shrine of Gamon. Is it the swamp, maybe? I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check this one. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Right, so it's not here. I'm trying to rack my brain. Also, oh god, nearly died there because I forgot. If you jump, if you attack when you jump, all your like adrenaline just dis not adrenaline. All your you know forward momentum just vanishes. That's how jumping works. Right, cool. That's how physics work. Right, cool. Uh, shit. Oh god. Oh, I done nearly done it again. Just to hit these bugs from. Oh, well, I'm up here. Oh shit! Now they got me. Oh no. Right, and then just hit that one, and there we go. Right, and big jump. Okay, maybe it's not you that... Who did I give the feather to? Anyway, let's check up the... So, we're finished with the Gobi ship. We'll check out the Shrine of Gamelon. Oh, it's you! I think this appears when oh dear. I've not rescued Our someone. Is guarding the shrine. Whatever I see, Ooh. I shall devour. Mm. Um... Uh Okay. Wait, that's just a Is that just a Buddha statue? Not Buddha. I I I'm so conv this game is a fucking fever dream boys. I'm so confused. This whole segment's just fucking wild. Like what the fuck was that? Also, it's weird how the fire there isn't it? Oh god, oh god, just popped out of nowhere. Now deciding here, we're now like, I want to be the guy levels of, like... Oh god, there's so many stuff to avoid. Oh no, right, if I can just stay here. Right, do we make it to the top? Maybe I can use... Okay, your magic cloak doesn't work on him. Oh, the power glove works! Got him. Yeah, we got him! What the fuck? We got the Wand of Gamelon. They said the thing, that's from the game. Also, look at all the blood here! What the fuck? That this game, fucking game boys, this game is fucking mental. Right, we've not we've beat the shrine of shrine. We've got to beat the shrine of Gamelon. We've got the wand of Gamelon. Funnily enough, uh, we battered the and the wolf guy. Don't quite know who or what he was. I got the wand. What else did I get? And I've still got the oh. So I got the lake, or my, no, I got the lake. I think at the lake I've got that climbing segment and then after that, remember I've got that boss that killed me in one shot. I think I have to maybe use the reflecting shield on them, have I got the reflecting shield anywhere? I'm just going to give that a try, I'm just going to see if this works. I mean we've already beat two bosses this stream so I'm happy with that.
Also, this fucking game, man, it's wild. Like, I've never done, you know, hallucinate, uh, drugs that'll make you hallucinate, but holy shit. This game's like, some of the things in this game were designed by a kid who's clearly had a bit too many time fastics and was just out his face in a sugar rush. Shit. I would have preferred if I had to be pew pew, but, ah oh well. Let's try this boss again. Because this one was a nightmare. I've got more health now, so I should be able to... Oh my god, I was going to say I should be able to take more of the uh, rock hits, but... Supposedly not. It's so hard to see them because the background just sort of... They just sort of blend in. And it's not as if they fall from... They seem to fall from random bits each time. Right. I've got the rope. Right, so I'm just going to go forward a little bit and I'm going to use the lantern to eliminate my path so I don't fall in and die. But that last time that was awful. Be careful, make you don't walk off the edge. And enemies just spawn here, don't they? Remember they killed me last time I was Right, here we go. Okay, right. What I'll do, I'll try the... Right, Magical Cloak. Okay, Magical Cloak didn't work. How'd I beat this boss? It's just a case of trying every item until something clicks. I've got a feeling maybe I've not got the exact item that I need from them. Because... I've still got to get get the witch caught. What's that one item I need? The, I've got the feather, I don't know where that... Oh dear, Wizrobe has captured Lady Alma. I'm not afraid of you. Ha! Who's Lady Keep Alma? Wait here until you are. Right, cool. So we'll try this one more time. Oh! Nearly fucked up a jump there. Right, so one more time and we'll try the... We'll try the wand this time. Oh god. By the time you react, you've already been hit by like three of them because there's no like stun period or you don't even get like like you'll get hit with six like you know, I was gonna say it six or whatever, you know, like you get hit with a bunch of them in a row. So not have any time to sort of click. Right, here we go. Jump over here. Right, right, here we go. Jump down here. No time for you. I'm going to use the magic cloak just to get a second, so I can go in my wee inventory. Okay, the wand doesn't work. Maybe I... Maybe I just need to release the... It's locked, cool. Right, let's try. What other items have we got? We've got the flute. What does the foot look like? Oh Jesus. Right, the foot doesn't work. Obviously bread doesn't work, shroud doesn't work. Power let's try a power glove this time. Cool, so let Clearly I'm not meant to be here yet. Right, let's just think. Let's, let's have a big think. Beat the Shrender Gamelon. Beat... The fairy pool dump beat that I think. Right, let's have a wee we journey, we walk around. Actually geese your rupees. Well 
We're on our stage where I'm gonna spend half the game just wandering a bit very confused. Well, actually, been, this stream hasn't been as bad, right? So I've noticed once you use the NPC, they just disappear. They don't exist anymore. Anyone at Kogi Tower? Nope. Wait, actually, I've not been to Kogi Tower yet, have I? I know done the segment here. There was that octopus that was a nightmare to avoid. Right, and I blew that up with bombs. So really I don't even need to bother with octopus. Cool. Oh my god, this area is horrible. I see my grabby hands. I always remember was this game my my uh because I first had an Amiga as a kid. And my uh, mum and dad have got me this game and it's called the Chaos Engine. So again I've, I've still got it on Steam and it's a fucking class wee sort of top-down shooter type thing. But I remember there was one area that always used to not scare me but freak me out a little bit. And it had like these big crawling hands. And they always used to sort of creep me out a little bit. I remember my dad really liked that game, my dad really got into it. I've tried to go back and play, I've tried to finish it thinking like, oh here, you know, you think game from my childhood, I should get back and actually give it a try. It's fucking solid boys, let me tell you that. It's one of the, it's for, like a Super Nintendo, well it was around Super Nintendo time, so I'll sort of tell you the, like the first couple of levels, piss easy. Do you? you? defy me? You will die. Guess again, Iron Knuckle. Yes, guess again. Right, Iron Knuckle, what have we got? The Wand of Gamelon. Doesn't work on Iron Knuckle. The Flute. Right, the Flute doesn't work on Iron Knuckle. The Power Glove. You know, expect this fight and then it's the character just literally walking back and forth. Oh, never mind, the Iron Knuckle's been smashed. Dead. Let's get out of here. What the fuck? Every every time I see Ed in this game, I'm just astounded and confused and yeah, it's something else. Oh, who's this? Who's who's been trapped away? Who are you? Oh, the indignity! Please, your highness, would you kindly cut the chains that bind me? I can't want to clip every single one of these. Ouch. There we go. Thank you, Princess. He's quite horrifying. I to conceal this magic lantern. I hope it can be of use. A magic lantern? Let me think. Who? Where would I need a magic lantern? Anyway, let's open up a new area. The door dung cave. We are flying through this game. Well, I think it's just the way the game go. The game has been because. We fought one boss, and then suddenly in the last maybe four areas, there's just been like three bosses each time. Is that a cave entrance? It is. Right, I'm just going to walk forward a little bit, and... Well, I imagine there's just invincible lanterns, isn't it? Not invincible, but like... A never-ending supply of lanterns. How are you meant to do this without the... Oh, see because your hitbox is massive as well, it's a nightmare. Right, here we go. Right. I'm just going to focus on killing these things first and then we'll focus on actually making progress. Right, there we go. Right, and then jump up here. Right, we got this, we got this. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Right, take my time. Take your time, Mikey. Damn it, Phil. Right. right there's a big scary dragon up there. Wanda Gamma one, maybe? Unless the power glove, power glove just seems to kill it. Oh, no, I mean the power glove does just. I got a heat crystal. Oh, I know where to use a heat crystal. I wonder if does ever and in. 
Dodo my palace. Right, cool. First off, we're gonna head back to Scado and get the get the heat crystal done. Right, just get these guys scalped first. Try and get a couple more of the gems out of them. Damn it! Last one always gets me. Right. And he was at the far side over here. So I actually found a, a thing on Reddit and it was someone talking about like in defence of Zelda CDI. And they were like, oh the graphics are good. And I was like, really? Let's see. That ought to do it. Works pretty good. Oh my god. Well that's um uh, That's my sleep paralysis, Steven. Right, so I got my sword upgraded. Is there a fast travel thing from Oh no, nothing up here. I was thinking, hoping I found a new wee bit, but we fast travel thing here? Nope. So, let's have a look. Uh, does that mean ho hopefully I get the wee pew pew, even though I've like already been hit? Let's try that. Oh, I do. That's, that's it. Cool. Game's a bogey. Game's easy now. I say I'm gonna get fucking wiped. Thing is, I need to look up the game. I can't remember what it's called, but it's anyway. Uh, where, where where did I get? Oh, it was here, wasn't it? Dodo My Palace. I need to look up that game. That's like a homage to these games. Because thing is, I'm actually now getting to a point where I don't want to say I'm enjoying it, but I'm not actively hating it. So I can see, I can see ideas of a good game. Look how your father was captured. You are my prisoner. Hey. Ganon hey. just looks a bit like a dog. Time. Keep the runt in chains. Yes, master. As you do. I under completely understand what's going on. Right, I need a bomb to destroy this door. Oh, oh dear. Oh, it's okay, it still blew it up somehow. Right, I need to jump in the Crocos to take me in here. Right, and get the magic lantern up. What? Can I still stand this thing? But I can't actually, I can't reach him. Go jump up here, and how did I get through there? It was like a, it's a great. Oh my god, this became a fucking I will be the guy stage. Right, if I just stay crunched down, and then just stay here at the side. There we go. Oh, I need a rope. No, no, no! Oh god. I can't actually. I wonder what's going on there. I couldn't actually, like, squat down. I right, just hit that hand. All that for, like, one rupee. And this level's actually been long compared to the other ones. Oh, I hate the fallen things. Oh, oh god. Oh my god. How am I meant to dodge that? I'm just climbing up. It's not as if I can do like a side jump in that to I've just got to absorb the hits. Cool. Right, and there'll be a boss here, it's gonna be a right prick. Oh no, just the stone guys. Oh god, there is a boss. Right, uh let's try the flute. Okay, flute doesn't work. Power glove, power glove always seems to work. Nope, power glove not working. Magical cloak. The wand of Gamelon. It just flies past the sorcerer, the shroud. I mean, just stabbing him worked. Killed me. I melted the water wizard thing. Good. 
You've killed me! Good. <laughs> yes, man. Zelda is out for blood. Right, who have we saved? Duke Onclid betrayed the king. I know. Strike the head of the portrait to enter Onclid's chamber. What? Thanks. Thanks. What? Strike the head of the portrait to enter. Do I need to head back the way? Or see if I die and I have to redo this whole segment. I'm gonna greet. I might be something. Oh, I've been uh, sitting actually playing Baldur's Gate, and let me tell you, boys. Hot take. Critically acclaimed game is good. Fucking class, boys. I'm playing as a half drow warlock now. And, uh. I'm sort of doing the first sort of stage, and I'm just amazed with the amount of options you've got. The way, like, everyone's. I don't know, it's just. It seems fucking class. I'm really enjoying it. So it's a nice palette cleanser with this, you know? Right, strike the head of the portrait, it said. I mean, that's a portrait. Okay, I got a key. Who are you? D don't hurt me, Zelda. I'll tell you the secret way into Resong Palace. You better talk fast. Go all the way left and move the rock. This key opens the gate. I'll make sure he doesn't get away. Right. Okani Forest. Cool. There was other areas in there. Well, will I go explore or... Maybe let's head to the forest. Let's see what we need to do here. Oh, there's a werewolf. I mean, oh, werewolf steed. Right, here we go, here we go. I wonder if, like... I know how Zelda, I know how, like, Nintendo's really bad for releasing things, but I wonder if they own these games. Like, I wonder who actually owns the rights. Like, I wonder if Philips could, in theory, if they wanted to release for, I don't know, like, whatever consoles out there, or put, put these on Steam, like... Like, it'd probably be a fucking legal nightmare, but, you know, I, I just wonder who... Maybe, like, people have just, like, not cared about these, you know? Maybe it's in the same... Uh, it's a kind of... Legal funk. Like, I don't think anybody... Like, unless it's, like, that situation where Nintendo bought the rights to... That Mario porno so no one would see it. Maybe like that? I don't know. Oh, by the way, Nintendo bought the rights to a Mario porno called Super Horneo Brothers. So, uh, so that they could make sure that, it could, uh, that a brand... Uh, wasn't destruct wasn't tarnished and that they could make sure that it wasn't released. Which I find insane. Right, magic lantern time. And does anyone remember that? I think it was, I can't remember what year exactly it was, but I remember because I read it in Game Master magazine. And it was look at this trailer for the Zelda movie, and it was like, it was clearly like a fan project thing, but it, but at the time it looked better than most fan projects, and everyone sort of. For a split second, lost their mind. I, I remember, I hate when uh, companies used to do things like that, like... Like they play, like, oh, they go, look at this game trailer, and they'd have a relatively good looking game trailer, and they go, oh, April Fools, it's not coming out. So, yeah, that's a bit shite. Like, see if you do April Fools like that murder Sonic like a Hedgehog game where you just give us a free class Wii game. That's class, that's the way to do it. Right, pal. The dark around Ganon, but only the wand can defeat him. Good luck. Well, guess what? I've got penetrate Ganon. We will be penetrating Ganon, Sean. You have missed some nightmares. I'll be clipping them and putting them in a wee sort of I'll, I'll sort of a video on my uh, Discord. And oh, it's been a nightmare. But how are you doing, Sean? Right, so. We've got the Wonder Gamelon, we have got a feather which I need to give to someone, I can't remember who takes that, and I've got a lantern that penetrates the light, I guess, I don't know. I'm seeing where else the fairy pool have been there. I've talked to everyone in Cicado, I think. The tower. Where am I going? Chitoy Lake. The lake's still that bit with that witch that I can't seem to figure out how to beat. Let's maybe help a swamp again, because maybe I need to give that character the 
the feather again because I think that's still there. I think I, I think I've actually maybe done this segment before, but oh uh, well. So I think I've only got so I've got magic cloak, power glove, loot, bread. Does that mean I've only got one more item that I need? I think so. I think I'd maybe get after giving someone the feather. Right, here we go, we got this, we got this. Right, and then crawl into that tiny house. And Sean, you'd never believe it, but I've actually had levels that I actively enjoyed. Like, there was a pirate ship level where I had to climb up through the mast to find a key. Where well, there were ghosts that attacked me, and you know what? It was actually a pretty well designed level, and it worked kind of well. And then we've obviously had bosses that you kill in one shot, which are really weird and really out of context. Not, not out of context, but very odd, you know? Better character. Hmm. Aren't you a might puny to go up against Ganon? I'll do all right. Okay, wait. It's not not you. Nobody enjoys Zelda. What, what horrible being? I know it looks a bit. Looks weird as fuck. Like. So yeah, see, the people are voicing them. They, there was no graphics to tell them that's what the character would look like. So they just had to go off and like they would just be like slight description, vague descriptions like oh you're a blacksmith. So they would just do a weird voice and then obviously that'd be animated around them. Oh yeah, I've now got an upgrade where my wee, my wee spoot sword never disappears even after I've been hit. So game's a bogey now. Game's on the easier side. Right, it's not in here because that was where I got the key to that house, wasn't it? Right, here we go, here we go. Shoot the big dogs. Get those dog men shot. Yes, man. But yeah, I think I can see like a good game here, but I guess that good game that I can see here is just Zelda 2. Because it's clearly being inspired by them. The thing is, I found mental, so I was looking up, I was like, what other Zelda games that came out at this time? And that, like... Link's Awakening, not Link's Awakening, uh, I think Link's Awakening came out, but Link to the Past had come out at this point. So you're well into the, I don't want to say good Zelda series, because, you know, but, you know what I mean, like, you're well into what Zelda was as a series at this point. And they've just completely, it, it, it just baffles me that this got, even got released. But again, that's probably why Nintendo are so prote uh, protective of their IPs now. Right, uh... I'm just gonna look up where I need, to, not where I need to go next, but where that person with the feather is, because I've got a feeling once I get that, I'll be able to beat that person in the in the tower or the lake, you know, that bit of the lake. Twilight Princess is only a good link game. Science says so. I've never played Twilight Princess. I might play it after, not after, not straight after this, but I might play it in the future. So, what item is that? Feather wand of Gamelon. The forest. To the forest. The one area I didn't check. Oh my god, there's so many enemies here. This is a fucking... Also, look at my fucking health bar. Holy shit. Old Mikey. Big Zelda McMikey is unstoppable. Let's go. Rub your jeans for Zelda. Let's go, boys. Shit. But I always want to, Twilight Princess was the one I always wanted to play. I really should have picked it up on the, uh, the Wii when I was a kid because just never, just never did. I think Zelda was like uh, Pokemon, and it was one of those series that price, like the prices, never went down for the games. They were always expensive. They were always like full price. And actually, I'm pretty proud of the, my game collection. I collect quite a lot. The only Zelda game I actually own is uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Ash not. Oh God! Zelda. Do you have any Arpagos feathers? <laughs> Good. Then let us make a cape from your shroud. Here, I must be off.
There we go. I've got a lovely wee blanket now. Magic cape. What does it do? Oh, I can fly. Right, so there's only two areas I can think of now. Shotoy Lake and... The tower. I do hope we get to see Link in this. It definitely appears... Like, it appeared at the start going, Oh boy, I can't wait to eat some dodongos or something that he said. You know, that meme that's always in YouTube poops. And then, I've not seen him since then, so I've got a feeling he's got to turn up, like, we're going to have to rescue him right at the end. Actually, I have been in here, I beat this tower. It's just that, uh, that seemingly un unkillable character in the lake that I need to beat now. I might just give myself a game over here. I just can't be bored walking all... I was going to say walking all this way. Right, so the only area I can think that we need to do next is the Chatoy Lake. I'm just going to walk through it. I can't be arse fighting these things. Ah shit, I need to be up here, don't I? Right, here we go, here we go. Fuck your wee twink link, who needs them when you've got Zelda? Shame that Zelda's only been like, lead in two games and they were two of the like, worst, like, considered worst Zelda games. Like, I'm, I've got, uh, what's the other, is it Link, get Link in the face of evil? I've got, excuse me. Like, I've got that. See if I beat this game today, I might do Face of Evil, not straight afterwards, but I might do Face of Evil as like a part two, kind of. Because they are kind of basically the same game. Might use the rope. But Zelda's Adventure is the one I'm really worried about. That's, that was proper cursed, that game. It's like, it uses like, photorealistic graphics and... It's like top down and it tries to be more like a traditional Zelda game, but it looks so like like I know I said these ones look cheap, but fuck me, these ones look so cheap. Magic Cape. Okay, magic cape doesn't work. What I'll do is I'll use the magic cloak, which makes me invisible. Oh ho! Power glove. Loot, maybe? Okay, I still don't know how to beat them. Right, I've been to the Shrine of Gamelon. Been to the Fairy Pool. Shine a light on them, maybe? I'm just thinking, right. No, I've been to the cave. Penetrate them with light. Oh! That's a good shout. What would I use? I've... So they gave me something, but all it... the fairy lantern. Maybe if I use it in the house, in the, the house, in their room, like the boss room, maybe that works. Or maybe there's still another item that I need to get. Like, I don't know. We'll consult the walkthrough if the fairy lantern doesn't work and get them penetrated. Right, here we go, we got this, we got this. But you know what I'm generally surprised that they've not released? Uh, I've really generally surprised that they've not released because Mario Maker is a massive hit. Mario Maker's fucking class. I love Mario Maker. I'm surprised they've not released like a 3 ds not 3D, a 2D Zelda Maker, you know? That'd be kind of cool. I know they kind of do it with uh, Link, like with Link's Awakening. I think you can. I think you make dungeons. I'm not quite sure, but just make a full game based on like 2D Zelda, where you make you make road maps. That'd be cool. Because I think 2D Zelda's got like a big, not quite as big as Mario, but quite a big rom hacking one. Right. Here we go. Fire Lantern. Get penetrated. Oh God, no. 
Okay, it doesn't work. Would you like some bread? Bread does not work. Uh... Right, let's try... Okay, before I could even fly up there I got shot. Right, let's have a look at the... Let's have a wee gander at the walkthrough about where I need to be next. Weird, I know I can't penetrate them. It's only Gan, Gan's the only one that can penetrate. Alright, so I've been to the ferry pool. I've done the Gobian ship. Do 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 do. What a tune. Done. To Kogi Tower. Done the cave. Right, here we go. It says Shutoy Lake. There we go. So. How did I beat Wizrobe, which is this character? Oh, for fuck, that's how you beat him. How would I have figured that out? So I got an upgrade to my shield. And what's worse is I remember talking about this earlier. So, I mean, I'm, 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 wait. I'll just show you what you have to do. Oh. I would never have guessed this because I tr actually tried this. And it didn't work, but ends up you have to stand in a very specific position, and on only then will this uh, strat work. So watch us get ready for this epic boss battle. First, I'm just waiting for a crocodile to spawn. And rope, because I need the rope to climb up the tower. Boys, I'm not gonna lie, I might, I might be able to finish this today. I'm saying these games are pretty short, so it's not as if, like, you know. Oh god, oh Jesus, right, and then just climb up here. And also, I should realise, I did realise I've not actually sorted out a trailer for the next game that I'm doing. I should probably be shaking myself now. Right, here we go, here we go. So head through here, right? And what I, what you do is, no, you don't do that, right? Just do a dark, just do a dark soul steel. That's it. Shit. There we go. There we go. That's what you do, boys. I well, yeah. So you can't deflect if you're standing here. You need to be standing exactly here and do that. Cause you know that's how game that's how it works. Who are you? And you get a bomb to clear this bit. Don't mind me hen just throwing bombs in your general direction. Oh god. Does that count? It does count. Link told me about you. You know Link? Sure. Link, he yes, man. His canteen for a kiss. You kissed him? Here, it's empty anyway. Wait, I got a canteen out of canteen empty. Riku, we've unlocked the Resong Palace. If I go to the fairy pool, does that mean I can get... Because at the fairy pool I fought three witches. That was a scene as well. If I talk to these people... Have some water of life. But does that mean that I can put the water of life in the canteen, maybe? Yeah, canteen full. There we go. Oh yeah, by the way, these fairies, yeah. Had to rescue him from three witches that I fought. 
but like, look at the graphics. That's like a blonde. Uh, so sort of, look at uh, your generic sort of what you expect fairy to look like, and then you see them in the cutscene, and they're quite nightmarish. But here we go. Mikey's joining the Winx Club boys. Right, and where are we jumping up to? We're jumping up. Right, where was that area we had to go to? Resong Palace. Here we go. I get the music isn't half bad in this game. There's been a couple of tunes. Yes, man, can't wait to do our fucking barrel section, which is inexplicably super hard. I bet this one's easier compared to the one we had to do before, which was surprisingly fucking solid. Oh shit, a knight. Okay, I jumped in here. Where's the old it's lady? It's too dark to see Ganon, but the Triforce says you can only win by falling. I wonder what that means. By the way, that's, yeah, it's a Triforce. Who to thunk it that that blue thing was floating about? Is there a face there? What the fuck? Is, there, is this an entrance in here? Wait, it's, that's not an entrance. Cool. Let's dodge these and climb in. Oh, and there's a rock here. Let's take care of that thing and let's get the bombs out and spam the bombs. Thing is, nothing is telling me that that bot that's doing anything. So why would I keep letting there? Why would I keep spamming that? Oh my god! Also, why is it such a tune? Bring my new fucking starting soon music. Because I don't think anyone's chasing me up for the Philips CDI Zelda soundtrack. Cool, it's locked. Cool. Right, where did I get the key to here? Wait. How did I get out? Am I stuck here? Lads, I think I'm stuck here. Oh, rope. I forgot I've got rope. I completely forgot rope was a thing I could use. Right, where would I get a key for this place? Maybe that knight that popped out? Where was that knight? I think I may be coming to the end of the game. I'm thinking, boys. It's been an epic quest. Fuck, here we go, here we go, get blasting. Boys, I could be playing Baldur's Gate 3. Oh, Gate 3 right now. It's just a fucking class game. My, P uh, I'm playing it on PS4 because... Not PS4, PS5. Because my PS, my uh, laptop might actually die if it even thinks about running it. I'll tell you what, fucking class though. Good, really good game. But instead, I'm sitting playing this. Right, here we go, here we go. Nothing here. I see. Can I maybe jump up this thing? Maybe if I've popped through, there was that knight, wasn't there, here? He didn't drop a key, did he? Maybe if I kill this... I don't know what, what it's called. Would you drop a key? I'm just gonna try and kill every... No, he just dropped three piece, cool. Right, if I was a key to a strange bit... Where would I be? That's, that's not an entrance. Cool. I don't know how you meant to do that without getting hit. Anyway. Still have no clue where I'm meant to play the flute.
Nope. Right, uh... Hmm. Right, let's check the walkthrough again, so... Go to the fairy pool. Head to the palace. Right, cool. So, I need to be the Domai Palace next. Hmm. Where do I go? Right, so... I oh wait, I've done this bit. Yeah, I've done the Domai Palace. I've done the Shrine of Gamelon because I get the Wand of Gamelon. Oh god, this is the final area! Oh! I need to go in the darkness, they said, don't I? No! They said, they said something, like that, didn't they? Or. Do I need to have the... Okay, that's not the case. But we seem to have a problem here where now I can't actually see where I am. Now I'm just confused as to what to do. Right, let's have a look again on the walkthrough. So... just a key and right here you go so impas there walk defeat the virus up here when the don't go to move to left pay more I walk to the left blah 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 they right, enter the palace then push in the dark use a fair lantern or two fold in beat it Very cool, but it doesn't say where the key is. So I assume... I saw a picture of this version again. That's really some... Oh, it's... Something else. Right, so I'm just checking... I'm just going back and seeing if I've missed over a key. I'm looking the walkthrough. And point out we can't go... Uh, so there's two guys. We killed them. Killed the spider. Blink is the wee shaker, but jump in the middle of him and climb the ladder. Watch out for them. Uh, you can jump and toss a bomb at your foes. Yeah, I've done that. Then drop down to the right side of him. Be careful of falling spikes and go through the door. But I did, but the door is locked. Right, cool. So. Right, so I use six rope just to, and let's head back the way. So one of them said some of it a rope-like platform. So I'm just looking for like, like a platform that I can jump up on. We just thought this game would have multiple sort of. Oh my god! Oh my god! There's, yeah, this is probably the final. Ah, fuck. This is probably the final section because Wait, the bomb didn't go off. Cool, so I can't blow that up. Cool, easy peasy. Is Link the wall was a wee shagger? Right, Impa's like, oh, the... Uh, I don't know what she said. That was my Impa voice. I don't, I don't know what Impa sounds like. I'm not a... Oh, God. Right, uh... I'm so confused. And the thing is, nobody cares about these games, so if I Google, like, 
Oh, door locked in, blah blah blah. Right, we song palace, door locked. It's not gonna come up in we song palace door locked. Palace's gateway was locked, uh, surrendered to Zelda. Oh my god, I need to go back to Dome My Palace. I forgot there was a. Did he, yeah, he, didn't he say, like, fuck no, don't do, don't do that, Mikey, that's not what you do? I need to go get the key to the, the inner sanctum of uh, Ganon. Fuck. Don't do what Mikey does here, because that's not that's not what to do. Don't. I wonder what question I was. We went over this last time. Jason was telling us what the speedrun for this game is. We need to penetrate Ganon's inner sanctum exactly. We just need to penetrate a bit harder. Right, so through here, and I f I forgot how. I need to jump as soon as that segment starts, I forgot. Right, here we go, we got this, we got this. Or I can just equip the... wonder if I'll ever actually use the flute. Like, will it ever be useful? I can't actually hit that enemy, cool, so... And shoot the wee... Is that a hand? I thought it was a hand. That's a dragon type thing. Anyways, to start blasting. I did think I didn't actually go far in this... Well, not far, I... Done a segment in here. I fought a boss. And just hit that hand that I completely forgot about and was to walk into. Is that... That's fucking Henry VIII! But this area seems new. Or at least I've forgot it. That's not a door. But it's a key there. All the keys seem very undefined, if that makes sense. Like it doesn't really say what each key is. I'll just hope that's the key. Oh, tune as well. Why is this music so good? Oh no, I did come here. Did I? Oh yeah, I must have came here because if there's... I must have just completely forgot the, the key. Like, I remember, he's like, oh, princess, don't, uh, don't, and he's like, oh, uh, the key is in the, I think he said in uh, the portrait or whatever. And then we had, uh, one of our generals, I guess, take him, like, I'll look after him, princess. So the idea is we could go after Ganon, I think. But I'm just gonna have another look around here. Right, we went in here and we saved, uh, we saved your man who's like our, I don't know, dad's second. The key's right there. I literally wandered right by the key. Yeah, because I rescued him and went, oh, better go. Fucking Mikey. Ah, that's embarrassing. Anyway, Resawn Palace, let's fucking go. Look at that map, there's still a lot of places that are untouched, you know, that haven't been. That, that, but then again, it's almost like the map was already a made thing, and they just went, "Oh, fuck it." Which we'll I think that's the thing for a lot of assets in this game that it's not—they're not certainly made for Zelda. It was just, "Oh, we've got this fantasy map, and we'll reflavor it for Zelda." Right. I hope that I got two keys. Hopefully, one of them is for here. 
one of them's got to be. Again, I'll watch you. Right, drop down here and. Mammy, daddy, there we go. Ah, oh, what the fuck is that? Fucking Satan heed. Oh, the music is fucking class. Why is there another locked door? No, man. Is that meant to be Zelda? It is indeed. Can you not recognise the the most? Uh, it is Zelda. It is the best Zelda. Right, right, right. Please don't think I've left a key somewhere. Was not too sure, but with the sheer look of murder in her eyes, she does have this uh, killer instinct binder that she doesn't tend to have in our games. Right, uh, there's a lot of killing to be be done. There certainly is, right? What good is this route? I thought it said like enemies wouldn't see me. Right, so there's clearly another key that your old da can't find. Right, so I've been through here, let's... I can't actually kill a devil head, can I? Oh no. Right, back to the walkthrough to see what we're doing. Oh god. Oh god. Right, here we go back to the walkthrough. Just to get an idea because this game is... Right, so I've got the two, I've got the two keys at the palace, right? So... We're at Reason Place, let's have a look down... Right, some fallen spikes. There we go. Right, where's where are the some fallen spikes as well as uh, I've done that. Fall down to gate one to jump over the falling rocks. No, no, I've not done that. Have I? Oh, here we go. The stone head will move up and shoot for the census room fills up enemies quickly and have a lot of health. You better off simply avoiding them. Uh... Calling my ladder. Wait, the seconds I've done that. Right, go on, you have to destroy the stone head by tossing a bot, but not the first stone head. The second stone head by throwing a bomb at it, of course. But the first one's invincible because, you know, game design. Like, literally says in the guide, ignore the first one because this one is invincible. So, in theory, so imagine you're, like, away and playing this game. Who are you? You've been bought a CDI instead of a Super Nintendo. But, you are playing this other game and... You you do like you throw a bomb and it doesn't kill it, but you're expected to do it to the second. Fuck off! We are locked. Right, what's where's the key this time? Oh, I seem to have fallen. Right, I need to be careful. I've only got one bit of health left. Okay, I was not careful. God, this stage seems so long compared to the rest, but I guess it is the final stage. E. E indeed. Right, shape, we got this, we got this. Right, avoid. Right, we're nearly there, we're nearly there, boys. Just stay right behind this. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. I'm not back nearly sent right into the. Oh, God, big night boy. I right, just run by him. This really is the Dark Souls segment of 
2.5 Zelda game, 2.5D Zelda games. I should know. Le Legend that was called Zelda 2: The Legend of what's it called? Legend of Link. Link's Adventure. That's it. Is meant to be fucking solid. So I take that back. I've never played it. The most I've even thought about playing the old Zelda games is I think I looked at them on the Nintendo Switch. Sort of. I can't remember what it's called. You know the emulation thing. It's a bit. It's a bit shite. Well, it's not. It's not terrible, but they could clearly do a much better job. Like Nintendo Switch Online, and when they have the goal to charge you for a fucking like Nintendo 64 games and shit, when the emulation is not even like the best it could be. Right, here we go, jump down here. I've got half a life, so I'm probably gonna die here. Yep. Called it. Can I just try and skip a lot of this segment by just... I cannot. I just need to suck... There's no way for me to dodge while I'm climbing. So I can't just need to suck up those hits. Right, get the rope and climb up here. Just need to collect all the rupees I can because in case I need to come back. Right, he's got the key, so that'll be the key to that area. Let's kill that spooder. Just for good measures. It's getting that will be the guy levels here. It is getting a bit sort of Zelda Kaizo level. Not quite as bad as like a Kaizo hack, but it is getting like quite ridiculous the amount of... But it's like, falling stones should be such a simple... Oh my god, now I need to do this whole bit again. Should be such a simple thing to avoid, especially if you're like... Oh! Wrong item. And especially when you have to do this in like only a couple of lives, like at least I've got the keys to unlock the door so I don't have to worry about like like if I die I don't have to worry about bombing the stone that second stone face again, you know? Right, here we go, here we go. I'll say this, boys, this is, this is like, like, don't get me wrong, it is a state of the game, but this feels like, like, see if this was a fan, like, obviously, because it was, char they charged money for it, it's probably a little bit shit, like, imagine if I, oh, bring light to my lair. You must die. oh, fuck, it's Ganon. Hey, boys, are you ready for the final battle against Ganon? Are you ready to see the final battle? Fuck. Final battle, boys, let's go. There he is. <laughs> there we go. He's been beaten. That epic battle between me and Ganon. Why is he kind of cute, though? He would show me that wonk and he get that key. If we have a chance to save the wonkus. Fuck, right, uh There we go. And just claim up this. Oh, boys, just think that's gonna be like Out of all the games I've beaten on stream, this certainly has been one of them. Oh look, it's my dad in a very comfortable looking like this looks like a fucking prince's room. It's the king. Only looks very. Why has he got white hair instead of. Like, he had brown hair in the. Or was it. Father! You saved me! Oh god! Is the traitor, your majesty? Please, your omnipotence, have mercy! After you've scrubbed all the floors in Hyrule, then we can talk about mercy. Take him away! Yes, my liege. The, uh, I wonder what happened to Link. The. Oh, was a four anyway. The out of sync is just going insane. Oh, someone smashed something. <laughs> Nothing, Link. We were just about to have a feast. Great. <laughs> oh, there he is. There's Lonk. 
And he goes, nothing. We are meant to have a feast. And then, oh, 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 my God. Look at those faces. <laughs> there we go. That was Wand of Gamelon. In memory of Dale Sharon. Developed by Doppy. Yep. On your cell, Doppy. Yeah. Like, game preservation is something that isn't taken seriously in the slightest. So at least they've remastered made this thing more easily accessible. Why is Link in the Mirror? No one's ever mentioned that. Why did that woman have it? Like, why did my pal have it? No clue why. Why was this a thing? Created by Animation Magic Inc. I'm gonna look up Anim... I'm gonna look up Animation Magic Inc. Animation Magic Inc. So Animation Magic is a Russian-American animation studio founded in 1991. Uh, the company developed many animators for CD-based software. It was acquired in December 1994. Right. Literally, what it's worked on, so it's worked on the face, Zelda, uh, Link, the Face of Evil Zelda, the Wonder Gamelon, Mutant Rampage, Body Slam, Pyramid Adventures, King's Quest 7, The Princess Bride, The Prince Less Bride, sorry. Darby the Dragon and the cancelled Warcraft Adventure Lord of the Clans, which Warcraft Adventure is kind of like a point and click game. So, Mutant Rampage, Body Slam sounds amazing, just the name. I've never heard of it. Let's look it up. Mutant Rampage Body Slam. Oh dear Jesus. Uh, so, has anyone seen Cool World by means to me is legal to make Cool Cool, I see. Fifty K for Pirate and <laughs> Wonder Gamelon. I won Wait, I just I, I wasn't looking at the screen there, I just heard I won. What happened? What did I miss? Yeah, Tina Felina is certainly a character. I'll just put her up on screen now. That is something else. That, is a, that certainly is a character design. If not, hero mode uh, difficult. Uh, hero, this difficult mode under a new game because I'm to do double damage and make sure the canteen unavailable. Perhaps you should beat the game and hero and see what happens. I mean, I really respect that you're putting more effort into Wanda Gamelon, but you're okay, pal. You're okay. So I'm just gonna put that here. That thought that th uh, lovely thumbnail that Sean made. And where was the image? Where's the? I'm just gonna make a new image thing just to see. T so this is another game that was made by the. Only end up being two words. Either game's not particularly long. So that has been the ninety first. So this is from the same studio. This is Mutant Rampage Body Slam, which... Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. But anyway, that was Wonder Gammon. It wasn't the worst game I've ever played on stream. It was far from the best. Sold. <laughs> well, there we go. Might, we might play uh, what you call it next time. Actually, what will we play next? Let's have a look at my home video. Actually, give me two seconds. I realise I need to actually check the... Once I click off this, though, the sound's going to go. Yeah. I knew that was going to happen, so I'll put some music on the background. Because I need to actually... Sort out what I'm playing next. Are you winning, pal? We have just finished it. In a very anticlimactic fashion. But I'm just getting the trailer sorted because I forgot to get a trailer uh, sorted for last time. So, boysies. I've actually not decided. Fuck. So many options and... So, this is, we'll be playing this alongside... That was short. Yeah, it was only two... It was only two... Uh, which got two parts. Right, that was Zelda and the Wonder Gamma. Obviously, the next one, I've not actually got a trailer set up for the next one. So what we do is we might play something else in the meantime. Also, Zan Gannon take one that... Yeah, he did. 
think it, it wasn't a big fight. But anyway, what we have coming next time on Man Home Video. I've changed my mind again. Fuck, two seconds, boysies. What will I play? What will I play? So, along, something alongside... This is, you're seeing behind the, behind the curtain here, because I usually have this sorted out ages in advance. Like, ages. I usually have this sorted, like, literally as the next trailer. It go, as I show a trailer, I, like, show the next one, if that makes sense. Ten dates. Oh, no, that's, that's Crash's Domain. I don't want to play games people have already played. But anyway, next time at Man on Home Video. And now, coming soon to Video Cassette. From award-winning RPG game developer BioWare comes an extraordinary handheld adventure. A dangerous new threat has emerged. Sonic must team up with ten friends, each with unique powers, all with one goal. To defeat the Dark Brotherhood. A whole new role for Sonic with all new rules. Sonic Chronicles, the Dark Brotherhood. Rated E for everyone. Coming soon on Nintendo DS. Game and System. Sonic Effect 2. It is indeed Sonic and the Dark Brotherhood. A game that has never left my mind since I remember seeing it on Game Master. So Game Master Magazine, where uh, it was like reviews and it was, they used to give it this thing for 90, it was like 90% and up was a gold medal. And they gave a gold medal to Sonic Adventures and Dark Brotherhood. And I thought, oh that's kind of cool, it's made by the guys that made Mass Effect, that's kind of cool. I'll pick it up sometime. And I didn't think about the game for years. Years and years and years and years and years and years and years. And next thing you know, I see it popping up in the worst music ever, the worst games on the DS, the worst Sonic things, and I was like, what the fuck? So now I think it's time that I check it out myself. Right, we're actually not done today, but what I'll do is I'll say goodbye for the end, for the, for the, you know, for the video, and then we'll play something that's, I'll just see what I've got lying about and we'll dig into something for a wee while, you know? But aye, that was Legend of Zelda Wand of Gamelon, which is not the worst game I've played on stream, but is officially the first Zelda game I've ever beaten. Bye boys, as usual, thank you so much for joining us, I've been Mikey, you guys have been absolutely fantastic, hopefully I'll catch you in my next stream, but until then boys, have a good day, have a fantastic rest of your week, most importantly boys, have good mental health, take care of yourselves, I'll see you next time, see yous!